The 56th edition of the 24 Hours of Le Mans takes place on June the 11th and 12th, 1988. Already it looks like being a magnificent battle between Porsche and Jaguar. In qualifying, the German constructor scores a triple, but Jaguar hope to turn things in their favour when it comes to the race. The start at three in the afternoon because of parliamentary elections, and the start immediately sees the three works Porsches out in front. 49 cars are at the start as the Sauber Mercedes hasn't made it, handicapped by tyre problems in qualifying. Off the start, the Porsche Volex stuck and Andretti gets away best. Up against it, five Jaguars are here trying to overturn the Stuttgart constructor. Arriving at Indianapolis, the duel intensifies. Jan Lammers in the Jaguar number two is really going for it and manages to move into second place behind Stuck. On paper, the Porsche Jaguar duel looked great and it's living up to all that promise on the track. An exceptionally intense fight and you could throw a blanket over the leading trio at the moment. Everybody up there can hope a victory. Porsche have the advantage for now over Jaguar, but the British cars haven't said their final word. Stuck, the leader, hits trouble in traffic at Mulsanne. Lammers gets into the slipstream of the leading Porsche and moves over and gets through. The Jaguar number two is the hare at the start of the race and is now in front of the two works Porsches of Stuck and Wolleck. Going by in front of the pits, the Jaguar XJR9 of Lammers is acclaimed by the some 70,000 British fans who have made the trip to the Saad. The Porsches aren't making it easy for each other. After a fantastic stint, the leader comes into pit lane for a first stop. A lap later, the two leading Porsches come into the pits at the same time, a surprising choice from the German strategists. Will they get in each other's way and leave the path clear for the Jaguar 2? The answer is yes, as Stuck has trouble getting to his mark. What a pity to lose time in such a silly way. As you know, a race can be won on the track and lost in the pits. The direct consequence of the poor strategy is that Johnny Dumfries now has a good lead. Even more so because Klaus Ludwig at the wheel of the 17 was forcing things trying to catch the leader and ran out of fuel. Panic at Porsche as its leading hope drops five minutes. The TWR team of Tom Walkinshaw couldn't have asked for anything more. Advantage Jaguar. The standing slightly changed during the night as the Porsche 18 and the Jaguar 3 both disappeared. The spectators calmly finish their night while the leaders keep attacking. At 8 in the morning, the Jaguar 2 still leads from the poor 17 that, after a few problems, is right in the victory fight. Third position under 10 laps back from the Jaguar 2 for the surprising 962C8 of Just Racing, driven by Jelinski, Krages and Dickens. Under 15 minutes from the finish, the British fans are in seventh heaven because the mission is being achieved. Jaguar are going to win for the first time since 57. 31 years on, Tom Walkinshaw's team triumph against Porsche. Just like in 67, the hair made it through to win. And on the podium, Lammers, Dumfries and Wallace savour their victory.